Today's a big day, Carly. Loading up the car. Yeah. Head to the coast one last time. Yes, today is a big day. We're headed to the coast. This last time for Stacy. Thursday, today is Monday. Thursday, I retire from the Coast Guard after 20 years of service. So here is our journey through his retirement process. All right, Issaquah, terrible traffic. Actually, this isn't too terrible right now. Hi. Hello, look, we made it into our hotel room. Our new home for three days. We gotta do a couple of things to get ready for the retirement ceremony on Thursday. And then we drive home. All right, good night. Well, we have to go order the cake. So we're gonna go do that first. And then we gotta go downtown. I gotta get all the stuff out of my office. Oh, I see you're wearing your fancy new uh, logger pants. I gotta get some good use out of them before I destroy them on the farm. <laughs> We used to live in those fancy apartments for like three years. And then right across the street we were surrounded by all this shopping stuff. Which as you can tell is a wee bit different than we have on the Tomarosa. Heading into Seattle. I'm not gonna miss this. This is the Interstate 90 bridge across Lake Washington, and it is actually a floating bridge. Here we are in downtown Seattle. Here's Stacy, and there is the federal building behind him. The top floor. What floor is that? 35. 35. Here we go, on our way up. To the top. Cubicle. You've got your little box of stuff. Here Stacy is. All my stuff. He's got all the stuff. Hi. Good morning. It's Wednesday. We've got some more prep to do before the retirement ceremony tomorrow. Including a rehearsal. And we have family coming in today. So it's an excited, fun-filled, packed day. And we're going to get going. Time to go. Here we are, Coast Guard Base, Seattle. Gotta go sign some paperwork. Here's some of the ships here. The big red one is a icebreaker. They call them polar rollers. So in the Coast Guard, icebreakers are normally painted red. And then patrol boats are normally painted white. And then working boats that work on buoys and etc are usually painted black so look all three of them there together 2019 what you got there in your hot little hand these are my walking papers my dd214 here at the coast guard exchange barber shop gotta get all trimmed up for tomorrow last time and then we're just gonna let you get long hair on the farm yeah it drives you crazy. Yeah. I've never seen you with long hair. I don't even know what it's gonna look like. Walked out of there, my hair was gone. I think the hair on my head is shorter than the hair on my face. There's the Seattle skyline. Here is Coast Guard Museum Northwest, and on the top floor is the bear room, and that is where we are holding the retirement ceremony tomorrow. All right, so we're mostly all set up for tomorrow. Yep. All right, it's the day of. We are on our way to the Coast Guard base. We just picked up the cake. Hold on, bump. Here we are at the retirement ceremony, getting everything ready to go. It's very exciting. Lots of people are showing up. 
Here is how we have things set up right now. Fancy coffee table. Oh, look at him. And then I need to uncover the cake. There we go. That is the lighthouse service pennant. So Stacy worked a lot in AIDS navigation and that's why that is on his cake. As part of the retirement, we have the museum open on the ground floor. And we're going to go in there and look at stuff and see all the people here. <laughs> we're here today for a time-honored tradition to retire Chief Bush's mate Stacy R. Thomas from the United States Coast Guard. Now, Chief Boson's mate, United States Coast Guard, arriving. Okay, here we go. So, building dairy barn number seven, wood siding and cows in barn. You know, I'm going to tell you after just a few days, a few episodes of Blue Creek Dairy Farm, I feel like I know the family pretty well. So it's a good way to get to know them. Uh, they've got a great personality working together there. Uh, but it's apparent. From those videos and everything that Stacy has always wanted to be a farmer. Uh, somehow he ended up in the Coast Guard. Supposedly had something to do with like he was too young to get a CDL license and so uh, he had to get a job before that but good news is you know it actually worked out really well for the Coast Guard and 20 years later here we are. He spent most of his weekends driving back and forth to Eastern Washington. That's a ton of driving no matter where you're coming from if you haven't done that drive before. Uh, so I'm sure uh, Virginia and Stacy are really looking forward to sort of that last required drive this afternoon heading east <laughs> towards Ch Chihuahua. So drive safe. It's BMC Stacy Thomas is a hardworking, dedicated Coastie that has served his country with distinction. And I'm proud to have had the chance to serve with him. Thank you for your service, and we wish you and Virginia the very best of luck uh, in your future endeavors, whatever that may be. We will be watching, for real, on, on YouTube. So, uh, so citation to accompany the award of the Coast Guard Commendation Medal, Gold Star, in lieu of a second. Chief Pitt Officer Thomas is cited for outstanding achievement while serving as the Chief of the District 13 Age and Navigation Training Team in Seattle, Washington from June 2016 to December 2019. Trips and advantages from my wounded comrades on the battlefield. When I have flown and have a mask upon my soul. Admiral Vogt also wanted to provide his command points to you and uh, let you know he uh, is sending his congratulations and well wishes on your future. That's beautiful, thank you. That's right. I'll hold if you want to give her a ring. And it's inscribed here, it says the Tomarosa established 2008. Very nice. from the Armed Forces of the United States of America. To all shall see these presents, greetings. This is to certify that Chief Boston's mate, Stacy R. Thomas, having been retired after honorable service in the United States Coast Guard, is awarded this testimonial as an acknowledgement of duty faithfully performed during a period of over 20 years.
the retirement ceremony is over, we're getting all of our gifts, getting ready to get on the road and head back to the Tomarosa. We don't have a this man. <laughs> <laughs> We got the Jeep all loaded and we're getting ready to get in the car and head for five hours back to the Tomarosa. It's time to take a nice leisurely five and somewhat hour drive home. Last time. Getting ready to drive off Seattle base. Active duty for the last time. Little bumpy bump. Ooh, ooh. And there we go. Exit. driving and looks like Snoqualmie Pass has given us some nice winter weather. My turn to drive and we are halfway to the farm. It's starting to get dark. Well it's night time but we have made it back to the farm and here we are. We've been welcomed back to the farm by snow. All right, we just got back to the farm and the girls were a little hungry because it's a little bit later than we normally feed them. So I would say for probably the first and only time in my life, I fed cows in service dress blue Bravos. 